What do I do? <laughs> I don't do anything at all, actually, to tell you the truth. Um, what I try to do is, uh, is be a mentor. I was fortunate that I had mentors along the way in, um, in anything that I did, um, in playing soccer, in getting into refereeing, in going to school, in choosing a career. Um, so then I look at that as a way to give back and I want to become a mentor. Make sure you put in the corners. Yeah. Corners, okay. What I, I do in soccer overall is I try to be a mentor, not only to the players, but also to coaches. The role that he plays, it's a supportive role, but at the same time, at any point, he can take the lead. And that's what we try and teach our players, and our coaches do that through example. I'll let them run the session, because in this way, the players get used to a different voice. My, my biggest role model, actually, was my dad. Um, we didn't have the greatest relationship growing up, but I always maintained a relationship with him and my dad was a, a big on mentoring. He mentored me a lot as a referee and I try to remember to be a mentor to a lot of these young students who come in here that whatever goal they have in life or whatever area they're, they're looking to get into, I would try to help them out or direct them or put them on to somebody else who they can learn to seek mentors. I tell them that if anything else, whatever field you're in, find a mentor. Look at someone who is five to ten years down the road who's doing what you want to do. The stuff that we do here in practice is about life. It's not only about what goes on in the four white lines and in the boxes. It's actually about how you're going to handle life later on. There's, there's always pressure in life. It's, it's just how you deal with it, right? Um, you know, there's always frustrations, there's disappointments, there's you know, excitement, you know, there's times where you're well pleased. Um, you know, it's it just it's part of the gamut of emotions of life, I call it. Um, but, but in general, I don't take it too, too serious or to heart because at the end of the day, I have to always remember I was that age once and I was probably just as good or as bad as any of the other individuals who are around here. If you could use one word to describe Paul, what would it be? Intense. You guys, no argument, no excuses. You miss, you're done. Because there's no second chance tomorrow if you miss. I think intense is a good word. I think, um, back to what I was saying, I can't, it's not really one word, but two words, high standards. I believe that if everything you do in life, you set high standards for yourself and those around you, you'll achieve it. As long as I can surround myself with people who have a drive, a love and a passion to want to get better and want to love the sport, that's good enough.